Welcome to your journey towards a healthier, stronger you. Get ready to sweat, push your limits, and transform your body with our dynamic fitness video. In this video, I'll delve into answering this question. So make sure to stick around till the end. It's going to be intriguing. Let's go. Running is a simple and incredibly beneficial form of physical activity that is very accessible. Starting to run regularly can be difficult, but if you still succeed, you will receive lots of advantages. What changes will happen to your body if you start running every day? Watch this video till the end. It will be interesting. First, you will be happier. According to studies, a 30-minute run is enough to improve the mood of a person suffering from a depressive disorder. Moreover, it is absolutely not necessary to run fast to get this effect. It is observed even in those who run at a walking tempo. In addition, when you run for a long time, endorphins begin to be produced in your body, which gives you a feeling of uplift or the so-called runner's high. You will burn a lot of calories. Running requires a lot of calories. For example, a 70-kilogram runner will burn 20 calories per minute if he runs at a moderate tempo. In 30 minutes, he will burn 366 calories, and this applies to running on the plane. If you run against the wind, uphill or speed up, you will burn a lot more calories. You will have strong knees. Contrary to popular opinion, running is good for knee health. Scientists have found that runners are less likely to suffer from knee pain than non-runners. The thing is that running helps people maintain a normal body mass index, strengthen leg muscles and bones. Every time you hit the ground with your feet while running, your muscles, tendons, and ligaments are put under stress. They adapt and become stronger. Walking, swimming, and other activities without this type of impact load won't strengthen your muscles and bones as well as the running. You will have a healthy heart. Aerobic exercises help to strengthen the cardiovascular system. And by the way, you don't even need to run for a long time. Ten minutes of slow jogging is enough to reduce the risk of developing cardiovascular disease, but you should run every day. Your brain will work more efficiently. If you've already forgotten what you ate for lunch yesterday or can't remember where you put your keys, immediately put on your sneakers and run. Aerobic exercises, which increase your heart rate and makes you sweat, has been proven by scientists to improve brain function. You will sleep better. In a small experiment, scientists found that those who regularly ran at a moderate tempo for at least five times a week for 30 minutes began to sleep better, which in itself is beneficial, and also noticed an improvement in their mental state. Your immunity will be strengthened, and you will get sick less. We have already listed many benefits of aerobic exercises, but not all. Regular aerobic exercise for 30 minutes or more reduces the risk of dying from various forms of cancer. You will have beautiful legs. The largest muscles of the body are concentrated in the lower part of it, and running loads them all. You will pump your hips, calves, and buttocks with one exercise. But not only the legs are involved in running, the abdominal and back muscles are involved in stabilizing the body. Thus, you will pump your whole body if you run regularly. How to run every day safely. To avoid running injuries, follow these simple rules. Buy running sneakers. Regular shoes are not designed for running and won't protect you from injury. Increase the load gradually. Add something else like swimming or cycling to your workouts. Do exercises for different muscle groups. Don't forget to warm up before your workout and stretch after. Find a coach who will point out your technique mistakes and help you correct them. People who are just starting to run often have one question. Which is better, running on the street or on a treadmill? Let's look at this issue in more detail. Most runners live in metropolitan areas. It would be great if in all major cities the weather was like in Miami, but this is not the case. Often, weather conditions are set against the training plan, and then closed gyms come to the rescue with their stable internal ecosystem. Where is the best place to run? Psychologically, it is better to run on the street. In this case, you will feel the movement. However, there are many other factors. If you live in a place with polluted air by cars or factories, then when you run on the street, harmful metals will accumulate in your body, which will negatively affect your health. In this case, it is better to run on a treadmill in a gym with filtered air. If you live near a park, then it is better to run outside to saturate the body with oxygen. When running on the street, it is psychologically easier to fulfill the training volume and easier to vary the speed regimes. 
If conditions permit, outdoor running is preferable. Sharing your experiences makes for an exciting read. Also, don't forget to explore more videos on my channel. Links are right on the screen. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to share it, hit the like button, and subscribe. Catch you soon.